In this video trader is going to look at six similarities between driving and trading. If you're a driver and a trader, stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. So I was in the car the other day and I thought, you know what, there's so many similarities between driving and trading. It was quite a fun game actually, driving along, motorway, sitting there, chugging away, thinking, you know what, there's a lot of things there. That's pretty similar to trading. That's similar to trading. What else can I think of? So I thought, you know what, I'll share a video with you guys, something a bit different. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any others that you can think of. So the first one is pulling out without look looking. I love this one. Not actually doing it, by the way, but I love the analogy. So imagine you're at crossroads and you once a day, you just go straight over it without looking, right? We're not talking rush hour when it's going to be solid traffic. You're straight over it. You've got to give way normally. It's a main road. You're going from one to the other, minor road to minor road. You've got to give way. You've got to stop. You've got to yield if there's traffic and you just go. You don't even look. You just keep going straight through. Now, what's the chance of you getting through? Pretty high, probably. Obviously, depending on rush hour, etc. But talking about a normal road that there's a car coming every now and then, maybe a country road, you're probably going to get away with it. You're probably going to get away with it a lot of the time. In fact, you might get away with it for a long streak. And you'll think you're a genius. You'll think this is the way to do it. I've not been told anything else. I've not learned anything else. I just go straight over. I don't need to stop until that one time. And that one time when you get hit. And we're talking catastrophic. You're gonna get hit driver's side, you're gonna have a side impact, which is always the worst. If it's a truck or lorry, you're gonna get probably die. It's a catastrophic event. So, how is that similar to trading? Trading, imagine if you're averaging down on a position. You get away with it most of the time. You go through that crossroads, bang, 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 quiet road, bang, 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 it's fine. Average down, average down, average down, fine, fine, fine. But that one day, that one day when that trade just keeps on going, keeps on going, trend picks up, picks up, picks up, kills your account. Same as that one day, you go straight over that crossroads out looking, bang, HGV, takes you from the side, wipes you out. So that's that's one. <laughs> Let's start with a pretty extreme one. Let's get a bit more normal now. Road closed. So you go along, go along, and there could be road works either. You go along and there's a big sign up saying road closed. You're like, that's my normal route. What do I do? Okay, well, what do we know? What do you normally do as a driver? If you're going along the roads closed, you go, ah, I know there's another way this way. Or often they put up diversion signs and you follow the diversion signs and it goes round the way that you need to go, puts you back up on where you were. It's inconvenient, but is it the end of the world? Not normally, unless you might be late for a meeting, might be late for an appointment, might be late for this, but it's not really the end of the world. And so in trading, that is gonna be, hey, you know what, this is not working. What I, I can't get any further with what I'm doing. The strategy I'm employing is not working. The market conditions have changed. So yes, it's annoying and inconvenient, but I need to find another route round. I need to find something else that works. I need to find something else for the conditions and adjust and get back on track. So again, it's the same kind of mindset. Very often we get frustrated. It's not working. I can't get through. I can't get through. I can't seem to push past it. Well, why don't you try going another angle round? Go round it. Move around the obstacle rather than trying to force your way through it. Number three, speeding. A bit of a really loose analogy of this, but if you're speeding regularly, and let's say you're an unaware speed, let's say you don't know where the speed cameras are, you're not looking out for police, you're kind of, you know, you're speeding and you're, you're not doing it with, attention. you're not having your attention on being caught, you're just literally speeding flat out everywhere, you've got disregard for cameras, disregard for police, and you don't care, then you're gonna get caught one day. And in the end, and maybe you lose your license. You know, if you're doing you know 100 plus on the motorway, a miles per hour that is in the UK, then you're probably going to lose your license. A speed limit in the UK is 70 mile an hour. But you're going to get away with it for a long period of time. So whilst we're not talking as, as catastrophic as moving out in a crossroads and getting hammered, we're talking about stuff that's going to set you back. Let's say you get banned for a year from driving. That's going to be pretty inconvenient if you use your car to get around. Then speeding could be stuff like okay, well, bad habits like chasing a market, not sticking to a stop. All these things that, again, they don't really, you can get away with it and you think it's the right thing to do and maybe you feel like it's accelerating the process, but eventually you're gonna get caught. Eventually you get caught doing a high enough speed, you lose your license and you even get set back. And imagine the analogy with that is that your account gets halved, your account gets put in quarters because you get hit with a big hit. So watching out for that one. Number four, and by the way, guys, I know that a lot of people do speed, so this is not this is a generalized thing. This is someone who's literally 
just not looking where they not looking for like i say cameras police cars etc just literally disregard fly out because eventually someone will get caught number four driving on bald tires so this is okay a similar analogy if you're driving on bald tires if you're in the dry you're probably going to get away with it so let's say you're using a specific averaging down and we use averaging down again but let's say you're using a specific strategy that is for a trending environment right in a trending environment it's fine a bull tire is fine in, unless it's really really worn down but it's fine in a dry environment right you don't need tread that's why formula one cars and racing cars have slicks because when it's not wet and it's dry you want as much contact patch as possible however as soon as it starts raining i.e the market conditions change then you're very vulnerable to sliding off and falling into a ditch. So with trading, you could say that, hey, this strategy works very, very well in a trading environment. I'm gonna use it and use it and use it and use it and use it, but then you're not recognizing the point that actually when conditions change, i.e. it rains, it becomes very dangerous and it might end up wiping you out. Now, of course, you could take the tires off and put uh, proper tires on when it starts raining, and that would be kind of the analogy with the trading, right? Works well in trending, starts to go to range band environment, let's change the tires, let's change what we're using to get involved with this market. Number five, road rage. This is a really good one from a psychological a psychology perspective. I get super annoyed and I admit it. I'm driving in the outside lane, car pulls out and I have to slow down. And then if I come back in an outside lane, pick up speed again, car pulls out, pull, you know, that sort of thing annoys me. Or someone doesn't pull over in lane three, don't, doesn't go over into two, always sitting in lane two and there should be in one. This kind of stuff just annoys me, right? I know it annoys me, I recognize it annoys me. But I'm past the point now of it becoming so much of annoyance. I just know it's gonna happen on our journey. I know that if I'm going on the motorway, this is going to happen to me, and so I accept it. And do I start getting angry? And do I start throwing stuff out of the car? Do I start pounding the steering wheel? You know, no, I don't. You know, because there's no point in doing that. It doesn't serve anybody. There's no point in me getting angry at it. It's not going to help anything. The guy is going to go as slow as he wants until he wants to pull back in. It's not going to stop the fact that he's pulled out in front of me. It's not going to stop the fact that he's in lane two. It's not going to stop anything. I just have to deal with it and I have to move on. And you might be the same guys, whatever it is when you're driving, so I'm a slow driver or someone tailgating you or any of these kind of things that are happening, in, you know, they might, yeah, that's annoying me, that is annoying me in driving, but we just deal with it and move on. It's the same with trading, right? We've got to expect that the journey is going to be full of things that we don't like, but we can't dwell on them too much. You know, once that guy pulls out and you break, he goes back in, do you forget him three or four minutes later? Of course you do. You don't think about that unless it was a very serious thing that's a break and like ABS was kicking or something. You just break oh, and the guy pulled out, he goes back in, three minutes later it's gone. You're off and you focus on your journey. That's what it should be in trading, guys. Something happens that kind of makes you stumble and stutter and you have a bit of drawdown. Like, ah, what do you do? You don't worry about it and dwell on it for the next trade. You just put your foot down again and you carry on and you push to your destination which is whatever you're trying to achieve in trading. So that's a good one, road rage. Number six is avoiding other bad drivers. So similar kind of thing, right? But road rage is more that you're not letting it get you angry. You're not like, oh, really getting angry at that, really getting angry and frustrated, and then it's affecting your driving afterwards, right? Because if you do that, you're driving afterwards bad and you kind of are all over the place and you're dying around, you're undertaking, and you're doing this because you're frustrated because the guy 10 miles back annoyed you. And so it's affecting your future direction, whereas, in trading, same thing. Angry, angry at something trade that happened, it's affecting your future trades. These are two similar things, avoiding other bad drivers, same kind of thing, but you know that you're gonna to have to avoid drawdown. You know you're gonna to have to, sorry, deal with drawdown. You know you have to avoid a bad driver. You're gonna to have to avoid somebody who's doing something you shouldn't do, changing lanes without indicating, pull out in front of you, going too slow, going the wrong lane, turning when they shouldn't be, all these kind of stuff we know that's our day-to-day -day life on the road. And so we can't expect things differently in trading. We know it's not gonna be smooth or equity curve isn't going to go from bottom left to up right just in a straight line we're going to have these drawdowns we're going to have times we're not feeling right we're going to have times when something in the market hits us we're not expecting it we're going to have times when market conditions just change on us times when rules change of what we can trade what we can't trade all these things like on our journey from a to b in the car are going to be there but it's how we deal with them that's the key thing and if we deal with them in the wrong way and we get angry we don't expect them 
We let it set us back. We're sitting in front of the road, closed sign, going, where do we go now? We're getting super stressed at drivers. We're pulling out, taking big risks. We know that that's just not gonna work long term. And we've all, most of us have been driving for a period of time, recognize that we, to get, carry on driving without having an accident, without getting put in prison for doing stuff we shouldn't have been doing, and to get safely, get your family safely from A to B, there's certain things you've gotta do, and we do it. And so that kind of parallel with trading, similar thing, we know that that's what we've got to do and we just got to get on and we've got to do it right guys if you've got a seventh stick it in the comment section below and uh, this was kind of a bit of fun thinking about these and i'm sure i've got some more as well but sixth enough more to come from you hopefully right guys see you later take care bye bye